Sarah. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. Um, I do try to post twice a week on Sunday and Thursday. So if you like what you see and choose to subscribe, just hit the little bell and that way you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. So I'm going to do a matching set today with a bowl and a cookie jar. I bought these this cookie jar from Dollarama for, I don't remember, maybe $4. Pretty cheap. And also this bowl. And it's kind of textured with some some fruit on it so i'm going to do these both the same hopefully um, i'm going to do put them on i have a 20 by 24 canvas here i usually do these on an art panel you just put need something underneath to catch the paint so that you don't waste it all and then you can kind of make a matching painting out of that i don't have any of the small art panels left but since i'm doing two items here i'm just going to do them both on this and that way I can have a nice big painting. And I had lots of canvases, so we'll use that. I have a spinner. I'm not going to spin it. I just want to be able to turn it as I, I pour on it so I can make sure I can see all the sides. First of all, prepping the glass. Um, it's just washed and dried. Try not to handle it too much so that it get a bunch of fingerprints on it, but just washed and dried and make sure if there's any stickers on it, they're off. Now with this cookie jar, I'm gonna pour on the top of it as well. So. I don't want to take a chance of a lot of paint getting on this rim here, so I'm going to tape that off. There we go. Taped off. Now, I'm going to set this up. I'm going to sit this canvas right on the spinner. There's Because there's no support bar for the middle of this canvas, if there was, I would need a board to keep it sturdy. I'm just gonna set it right on there. And then I can actually use the, um, like I'm not gonna sit anything around the edges because there's nothing supporting it. I don't wanna dent the canvas, but this is all the spinner underneath. So I can sit these all on top. So what you need to do, so now to pour on it like this, you need to have it elevated with nothing touching the edges so that the paint can freely run off. I had to get creative with some of these. I was trying to figure out what I have. If you have a cup the right size, that works awesome. Um, so for the bowl, this is gonna be really easy. I'm just gonna sit a cup, sit that on top. On, actually, I'm gonna use two cups because now that I'm looking at it, that's not enough room for me to actually be able to pick this up without touching it. I have these that I used before from some other things. It's two solo cups taped together. So I think this will work better. So that, that way I'm able to pick this up from the bottom and move this when it's covered in paint. All right, so the um, this one, a little more tricky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit a cup, a little on top of it to hold the another one up a little bit further off. It's not perfect, but I'm not sure what else to use. I don't have much out here. So I'm gonna use this and hopefully it works. And then the top, I lost the top. Oh, there it is. The top of this, I can just sit on top of a cup. That's, that's fine. I'm gonna use four colors. I'm gonna use four colors. I have purple. I'm gonna show you them on a paper towel first. I have them stored in squeeze bottles. You can get these from Amazon. They hold 16 ounces, which is awesome. Mix your paint up, store them in here, give them a little shake. You're good to go. So I have this purple by Montmartre, which is absolutely gorgeous. I do have a little bit of Sergeant Art metallic purple mixed with it. I have black by Montmartre. There's a video in my description. Well, I'll link to a video in my description of how I mix my paint. They're always mixed to the same consistency. This is white by Montmartre, titanium white. This is hopefully going to show up. This is really pretty. So this is a, a Liquitex fluorescent green, and I mixed a little white with it, but I actually mixed too much white and it kind of turned more of a mint, so then I had to add a little phthalo green to kind of liven it up a bit. Just the fluorescents are really transparent and they end up, they're gone, like you lose them. I did a vase a while back and I used this color without the white added to it, and it was just, it didn't show up on the vase at all, which is kind of disappointing. So these colors I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my split cup. This has been used a million times for vases. I got it 
way overpriced on Etsy, but I love it and I use it. So I just give it a rinse usually, but I'm using pretty much the same colors I have in here, so I'm not gonna bother this time. I'll move this out of the way. I'll probably have to fill this up twice, I'm guessing, for the, the two that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna get these ready here. Make sure I can turn this freely. I think I'll have to move it up so you can see. So I'm just gonna squeeze my paint directly into here. I usually use a full one of these for like a regular size vase, but I think I'm gonna end up doing this twice and whatever paint runs off, I'll just, I'm gonna tilt on this canvas and turn this into a painting too. So I'm gonna do the black and white once and the purple and green twice since I have six slots. All right. wasn't supposed to happen. Oh my god. I'm not having good luck right now. Okay. It's a little bit rude, but um <laughs> my hand looks pretty. <laughs> well that's kind of sad, but okay. I'm gonna pour a little bit over this one again to fix this and then we'll go on to the others. Also, I'll have to fill it up for the third time, but... I think that'll be good. I think I'm pretty happy with these. So I'm just gonna let them sit for a little bit till they stop dripping so much and then I'll be able to move the, the glass out of the way and do something with the panel. Well, not a panel. I'm used to doing panels. It's a canvas. <laughs> these are looking really good. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. They will change a little more. This, not, I don't think he's gonna change much though. Usually the, the colors, the lines will straighten out a bit as the, as the paint keeps running off. Now I'm not, I don't know if I left myself enough room on this to pick this one up. I'm gonna be really careful. So I did touch the lip of it, taking it off. 
but that's okay because it will keep running and it'll it'll just wash away my fingerprints. This turned out so cute. I'm gonna add some white paint. This will just help it flow a little easier. I'm not sure if I want to add white to these middle, these holes. Maybe a little bit. So this spot is where I tip the cup up. I'm going to probably tip that right off because it doesn't match anything. So I'm just going to tilt this. Probably way too much paint on here, but that's because I, dro <laughs> I dropped the bowl. <laughs> All right, bring it back. I'm not sure about these negative spaces that I'm getting though. I might see, that's what I wasn't sure about these holes. I might just try to experiment here. I don't like them, I should tilt them off, right? Right. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. So I'm just gonna take a popsicle stick and scrape underneath the edges. Get rid of the excess paint so it doesn't dry any drops. And as I'm doing that, I'm checking my corners. My, uh, looks like I need a little bit here. I love how this turned out. Just beautiful. And the cookie jar. Hit the top. Ooh. I'll show you this outside so you can really see the metallic showing in it. All right, let's have a look outside. The sun really brings these out. I'm really happy with how the green showed up on this, finally. It really paid off to put a little bit of white in there. And um, so it's perfectly usable. It's just a little hard to get the top off with one hand here. But yeah, so there's no resin touching the inside, so it's perfectly safe to use for food, even though I did use what is considered food safe resin, but you know, it all contains a chemical and you should keep it away. Here's the um, painting. I kind of like it this way. I'll show you the other way too. Turned out really different, abstract. I kind of like how I did with the, the palette knife there. And here's the other way. I'm not sure. I like the first way better. Tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments if you like it this side or the other way. And let me know what you think about the bowl and the jar and the colors. And here we are. I just wanted to show you this with uh, a vase that has the same colors. It kinda, it's kind of like a nice matching set. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.